one and all to the KOE Nation, folks. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE. You can find me at KOE Nation on YouTube, KOE Nation on TikTok, KOE Nation on Twitch. And we have some amazing KOE content coming to you from one of the many, many friends and denizens of the KOE Nation. So folks, without further ado, let's not keep you waiting any longer. Hello and welcome. This is Tony G stepping into the KOE Nation for a solo review of a bottle that's nearing the end of its lifespan on my shelf. Cooper's Craft Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is the 82.2 proof. This is their standard offering. This runs about $25 USD. This is, an, uh, this is a nice one. It's, a, it's an affordable one. It, it's, I'll be frank, it's a, it's a little plain. I've, I've obviously enjoyed it. A lot of this bottle and i wanted to get a good review out of it for you the koe nation before it whisks off into the great beyond of my empty bottle collection so let us begin for a little sample because you can't review it without having a little sample can you you can but what good would that be what fun would that be right out of the gate it's got thicker legs than you would expect it's got a good color. I don't know if it's colored or not. I highly doubt it. The nose is pretty nice. Leathery, tobacco, oak. There's a sweetness there. I want to say vanilla, but that's not exactly what I'm picking up on. Maybe like a faint custard. Pretty nice nose, honestly. But what you really hear, how does it taste? Mm. Yeah, pretty nice stuff. It's very heavy, leathery tobacco flavor profile. A little bit of that sweetness comes through, but the aftertaste uh, does not quite do it for me. I'll be frank. It could have a much, much better finish. Uh, the 100 Proof, on the other hand, has a very nice uh, flavor profile the whole way through, start to finish. So that's where this one lacks. Uh, it really does, uh, is, the, is the finish. Hmm. Not bad by any means, but uh, pretty plain. Pretty plain stuff. So, with KOE Nation, we rank this on several scales. One meaning, it's, it's a one to five star scale. One meaning you can pass this one by, it's not really worth picking up unless you're super curious. Five meaning if you do not try this pretty much right now, you are dishonoring yourself, your family, and your future generations. I think I did that, I think, that, I think that's fair, Phil. So as we're gonna start this out, we're gonna grade this as a bourbon. Now as a bourbon, one to five. I'm going to say, uh, frankly, this is probably a, a two and a half star bourbon. Yeah, it's it's very run of the mill. It's very standard. It's very average. You can do a lot worse than this. I mean, there's obviously worse bourbon out there. But this one, it's very plain. This is a good mixer bourbon. If you need a bourbon for a cocktail, this would be a good one for that. Now, as a whiskey, I'll give this uh, three stars of whiskey because uh, there's a lot of, like I said, cocktailing, very simple cocktails. This would this would be fantastic. A cola, uh, a whiskey fix, shit like that. It's going to work fine here. Like, it's just not great and neat. And if you dilute this down with water or ice, like I have a feeling it's not going to go in the direction you want it to. So I'm going to stick with three. As a Cascade Spirit, there's no age statement on this. I'm guessing at least two. Let's see. On the back here, it says, Since 1945, we have remained the only major distiller to own a new barrel cooperage and raise our own barrels. Our master coopers rely on a proprietary toasting and barrel making process to deliver a smooth and flavorful Kentucky bourbon. It's finished with our beech and birch charcoal filter process. Ah. Giving you a gentle bourbon bottle at 82.2 proof. See, Phil? Charcoal filtration does not disqualify something as a bourbon. Oh, who would have thought? Weird. Weird. 
Hmm. Anywho, <laughs> I digress. Um, this was a cast gauge. We don't know how old it is. Obviously, they've got their own gimmick. They've got their own hook, but I don't know. It, it's like doing the Jack Daniels thing where sometimes less could be more. And you're taking a product that could probably be a little better if you just left it alone the first time. Like, I kind of have a feeling that that's where a lot of the, the flavor issues I'm coming up with, like it's all tobacco and leather. Very heavy. There's, I'm sure there's more there, but can't really find it. So as a cast gauge, I'm afraid I'm going to have to give this a, a 2.25. Where would I put this on my shelving? I'm sorry. Yeah, price point proves it. This is a bottom shelf bourbon for me. Not bad by any means, but... Yeah, the Cooper's Hunter, that's an easy middle shelf. This is a bottom. Now, the secret fifth question. Once this is empty, will I seek it again? Probably not, unless I need something I know isn't bad. I'm in a pinch. I see this. I don't like anything else. There's no Turkey 101 on the shelf. Then maybe I'll buy this. But no, this isn't one I'll seek out again. Uh, the, the 100 proof again, that's where it's at, folks. That is where it's at. So I do recommend the 100 proof Cooper's Craft. Very, very nice. And it's pretty affordable. I believe around 40 bucks. This for 25, you could do a lot worse. But frankly, I would reach for a Turkey 101 before I grabbed this or a Jim Beam Black or something to like. So yeah, if I need a low proof, I go with a Jim Beam Black before this. It's unfortunate. Really nice stuff though. Uh, not bad by any means, just little underwhelming so without further ado i'm going to turn it back over to phil koe but this again was tony g reviewing cooper's craft kentucky straight bourbon whiskey for you the koe nation i thank you for joining me and i will see you on <laughs>